We're gonna switch off everything. Yes, ghost story zoom. But it's not that dark for us. Nah. And it's not that much for you. So by the way, first, my our guest is going to the ghost story. I have two. Yes. And, um, Keep the camera over here. Oh my god. Put it here. Why should? Ah! Hey, that's she. So. Let the ghost start again. No, dude. We never do that. I had a tour. I did the karaoke is done right. She literally likes all the songs. Yeah, I guess. But singing songs is like when you're good at it. <laughs> like it. <laughs> we should bump each other before we get jinxed. It's done like this. So, you know, we are living quite near to the booth bungalow. <laughs> you know, right? We have once gone there to play, play badminton, and you remember what we saw there? Right. So, you know everybody feels that building because of its creepy looks. Yes, quite it's haunted. Yeah. We remember going there. It was so scary. Guys, I thought it was sure it was going to get you. So, see. We saw those stairs so dark, you so were creepy. sure that something was going to come and get you. Yeah. Now, here is the actual story of that bungalow. So, once upon a time, the, the owners who had been there since quite long, trust me, quite long, and they owned a cute little dog which, her, which their daughter got. You know, she was quite little, probably about our age, yeah. sixth grade maybe, maybe, yeah. maybe fifth or sixth. And she found that dog. It was poor thing, shivering in that pet store because they wouldn't take care of it properly. It was a Pomeranian. Who wouldn't take care of a Pomeranian though? Yeah. It's the cutest. Okay. Pocket, puppy, actually. Like, Pocket puppy actually. Pocket puppy. Yeah. So cute. But how the owners treated it? The girl looked after it quite well. You see, the bungalow is big. The creepy and the good house. Right there. They brought up the dog. And it turns out it wasn't actually a pocket puppy. It was an actual Pomeranian. It grew to about this much. Maybe. Choke you. Choke you. And one day, the girl was, uh, what was that sound? What was that, what's that sound by show? I'm kind of feeling scared because the girl still is believed to haunt. Oh my god, stop it, oh my god, guys. She didn't stop. even tell the whole story, guys. So the parents actually didn't want to have a dog. They hated dogs. Just like dogs. our parents. No, our parents like dogs, but we live in apartments. Yeah, we actually. can't afford to have a dog eating all our lovely things and biting off our new chappals. Yeah. So they hated dogs completely, and so they murdered the dog cruelly. They literally sliced it in half. And then when the girl came and she got angry, they killed her as well. Brutally murdered. They realized that they were going to get caught and in the jail. In the police station, trying to explain why they killed a dog and their own daughter. So they hit the bodies and reported her and her dog missing. 
so until a few years later after they were out of the Jilla Parshit if you are in uh, like 6th grade you probably know in civics what is the Jilla Parshit all that yeah Gram Panchayat whatever <laughs> whatever 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 that's not too funny yeah. but they hid the bodies in their own garden covered it up and one day they found the fossils of a brutally murdered girl and a slice in half oh, wow. police not police you see the next one, they also had a dog, a huge Labrador, oh. sorry, no, golden, golden Retriever or Labrador, I don't remember correctly, but Golden Silky, maybe, quite cute. And the moment it came, it wouldn't enter the house for anything, anything. It hated being there and it was so scared and however, they had to live there because, you know, and so that dog had to live there and one day it went sniffing and dug up those bodies. Oh, the dog. Whose body? The girl and the dogs. The girl and the other dogs. The dog went barking and barking and barking and barking till it went on the road and it also died because of a car accident. Who? The dog. Which dog? The dog which found out the old dog and the girl's body. Oh. I'm just sitting Why? He's getting scared. I'm getting scared. Scary cat! Scary cat! I'm getting sleepy, dude. Oh. Yes. Oh. So, they caught up. The car just ran over that other dog which found out these bodies. And the owners found out both things. And they reported this to the police. And realized the girl was murdered and so was the dog. And that other dog just had an accident those uh, people just left that up place and uh, it is said that those uh, the souls of that girl and those two dogs still haunt in the older building which was there from long back and yeah, that is why it's so dark because and nobody has the ever dared and is quite open and second floor is super haunted guys no boor it's the ground floor where the even the first floor is haunted they just live on the outside they build a another section to it yeah section to it and they live over there even now people are living in that bungla but the second floor and the first floor are super haunted guys don't go there actually me and Lux died once hmm. for in in the first floor we went to a hotel or a i mean i am Lux in the second floor no i did dude that guy almost peed in his pants oh my god god and I heard dogs barking. Yeah. Even we heard actually. And, and, I, fa- and like, I heard because Guys, it was telling like when we went there. Oh. It was telling like that. And I felt something rush past me. And a girl's footsteps. Probably the girl because yeah, I heard probably. footsteps. And yeah, just sad. So... Therefore, it wasn't, it's known to be there and many owners were driven mad. They thought there was something in there. Mm -hmm. And now my second story, which will haunt you worse. You know, sleepovers were invented quite long back. And one sleepover, one, two girls like you and me were sitting there, talking. Guys, this is going to be so hard. (laughs) Especially now because it's 11 11. Oh my god, guys! 11 11. Let's continue. So, they were quietly chatting. School and all the normal stuff, you know. If you were a girl, yes. And they were just talking like, yeah, 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 Blackpink, BDS, whatever. Twice. Twice, the Mama Moo, Hyunjin, V, Jungkook. Yeah, yeah, it's sad. Lisa, Jenny, Black, and Jis. Don't say. <laughs> I love K-pop. And so did they. They were talking like this. And then they got to the context. They were talking just like us. Telling stories. Haunted and haunted and haunted. Both love haunted stories. Yes, like and we're talking and 
talking and talking about it and then they were telling ghost stories it was quite darker there was no neighbors making party but for us it's opposite by midnight strike they too were found dead next morning you know why people think they have done suicide because of exams but here's the truth that many people have investigated and found out my friend's father's 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 father was there at that time just kidding my friend's grandfather also grandfather's father explored that place and see they found out that when they were talking about ghost stories they were telling each other ghost stories that's my there's no need for that are me for example wait let me finish the story or else you will also find bad luck if you don't finish the story the ghost will come ah nothing happens the ghost comes to see so when midnight on midnight stroke Guys, I look so bad. It doesn't matter. We're just going to sleep at midnight. Go. Nah, they didn't do. They heard a sound in the bathroom. Just in the bathroom. They went. Uh, one of the girls went inside and uh-huh. said, "There's nothing here." Closed it and came. Then they heard a running sound on in the balcony. They went to the balcony, thinking there was a thief. Both of them holding sticks. Who? The girls, thinking that there was a robber out there. Obviously, the dead girls. That the dead girls. Yeah, the ghosts of the girls. <laughs> no, those two girls when they were alive. I'm telling the story how they died. So they went there, and unfortunately, the balcony door closed. You see, they had no neighbors. They just faced the forest. is the dark dark forest the two were trying to get it out and realized the door was jammed thankfully the switcher of the lights so no electricity gone and no electricity bill for their parents anyway so in the jungle people were afraid to be in the balcony in the nights because there were leopards wolves oh my god and they were not and they were then suddenly they heard sounds of footsteps not of a mammal or animal but of a normal person so they came uh they heard it they both were scared and were in the middle uh quietly watching holding hands like this interlocking them give me that <laughs> interlocking them like this and holding them <laughs> Suddenly, one of the girls said, "Let's try once more." This time, the door opened. One, they came back in and start and did not even think of sleeping. You know why? Because they were so scared to sleep, so they packed up everything in the sleepover and just sat there. Where right. they had in the sleepover room, like us only. They were just they packed up all that stuff and were just sitting quietly watching. then suddenly they found a girl near them both of them could be <coughs> they were in paralysis the girl was watching the movies they were the girls were like that when the girl was other girl the one who came to kill them guys it's so bad guys oh my god it's still 11 no boss is So, the ghost story is completed. Time to sleep. Bye. So the girl just killed him. <laughs> oh, I am actually quite sleepy. We should pack up and sleep. Ah, oh, I guess so. But we were going to have a makeover though. We could do that. Ah, I need to. Guys, I'm so sleepy, guys. So we're just going to pack up a bit and start sleeping. Oh gosh, I feel so sleepy. Why can't these people stop that stupid party? They want to kill us, people. Dude, talking about killing dogs and children wants you to want to. They kill. 
guys meet in the next video so this girl is not going to sleep bye bye <laughs>